Alright, so welcome to video 3. Um, as you can see, I back to a clean PC. Now, um, the reason why I want to show you guys Komodo Internet Security is uh, mainly for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a free security suite. Uh, I don't think, if I remember right, I don't think there is another free security solution out there that offers a firewall a, a HIPS product and an antivirus solution all together like Komodo does. I'm trying to think, but I doubt I, I doubt there's another one out there that can do everything this does for free. Uh, another thing is that I've been using Komodo since early versions, since I think at least 2003 maybe earlier than 2003 I've been using Komodo and it has yet to let me down uh, I have never gotten an infection with it and the more testing I do as you can look at all my videos with the exception of virtualization technologies I think Komodo is one of the only security suites that I have yet to be able to infect the machine with uh, when I run malware um, I think maybe a couple of free, a couple of paid suites like Kaspersky and Norton um, did good. They didn't do great. I still got some infections by them, um, and things like GData and stuff. I still got infections by them, um, but Komodo is the only one that I have yet to be able to penetrate to the point of where it would completely make the computer unusable or something would try to steal your data. Uh, what you're seeing here, this basis.cav, uh, this is off of my computer. This is the signature file. And the reason I have it here is because I don't want to wait to download another 90 megs for the signature file. So I'm just going to place it where it needs to go. Uh, but let's install Komodo here. And um, of course, user account control is back on because any of the changes that we made earlier are now undone but I would still do some of the changes that I showed you in the first video. So, uh, first thing I do when I install Komodo, uh, I don't install Hop, Hopsurf Toolbar. I just don't. I don't use it. Uh, I tried it for a little bit, didn't like it, so I don't install it on any of them. So uh, let me pause this while this is installing. Okay, so let's fill in some of these checkboxes. I do like to join the ThreatCast community. I don't use the secure DNS servers personally. I uncheck these two that make hopsurf.com your homepage or s.com my default search provider and then I click install. So it's going to install right now and I'll be back when this is done. Okay so now it's going to ask me to restart and I'm going to restart and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so I'm restarting here, and uh, Komodo is identifying some of the networks that we're on. Should be another one coming up sometime. Uh, first thing you do is you open up Komodo, and uh, there's the other one. Might be another one. I think there's only two. And you update. Now, because I had that basis file, and I knew where to put it, uh, and I got it from my home PC, this will go by pretty much instantly. If you don't, it will, uh, you'll have to update, and it'll be about 90 megabytes, 86, something like that, to update. So you got to wait for that to finish. Uh, make sure that your signatures are updated. Um, but for your average PC user, now if you look at some of my other videos, you can see that I changed some settings here, some settings there. But for your average PC user, the way it comes from factory is perfect for them. It doesn't interfere too much with usage and it uh, protects the computer very well. So let's move on. Now I just showed you two different security solutions, the Vero with PC Tools Firewall that you can use, um, or Komodo, which you can use, or you can use instead of a Vero with PC Tools Firewall, you can use uh, online armor firewall free. Um, there's a couple more out there, I just can't remember, they're escaping my mind right now. Uh, instead of Avira, like I said, you can use MSC, um, Microsoft Security Essentials, you can use Avast, whatever you want to pair. But just pick some of the some of the better ones out there and, put, and use them. That's the number one thing right now, is people have old security on their computer that isn't up to date, 
um, or is expired or it's just if more people would just use the security solution that was up to date everybody would be a lot better way better off so uh, let's move on from here what's the next thing uh, that people want to do they want to go online so you have an option Windows comes um, bundled with Internet Explorer now Internet Explorer 8 I think that's the newest one is actually not that bad but I've never been a fan of Internet Explorer call me a stickler um, but you have a couple options one option is to get um, Google Chrome it's fairly new uh, it's very fast it's pretty secure uh, there's also different distributions of it out there with um, different settings that have been turned off different companies have been adapting Chrome because it's open source code which means if you want to you can take it uh, and change the code to whatever you want to do with the software or another option is Firefox um, Firefox actually I think right now holds the number two spot um, and personally I like Firefox because it's very customizable you can add extensions as they're called in it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get Firefox install it and I'll show you some of the settings that I change and extensions that I use in the program so I will be back after Firefox is installed see you in a sec okay so we're gonna install Firefox with standard options we're going to use it as the default browser, so it's going to take the default browser setting away from Internet Explorer and uh, put it at Firefox. And the one thing you'll notice here is that it's installing without any pop-ups or any questions from Komodo. They've been working very hard at getting a very good whitelist and making it much more user-friendly, which is very good for the normal person because they don't have to answer any questions if they do have to answer a question it's either because something bad is happening or um, it's you're using a program that's not very well known uh, there's nothing to import so I'm not going to import anything from Internet Explorer and I'm just going to let Firefox finish up here oh there it is so let me get a couple of those extensions let me uh, make a little list here and I'll be right back okay so let's get our first extension here if you go to tools and you go to add-ons you will get this window here now you can search for add-ons here or if you hit browse all add-ons it will actually take you to this page add-ons for Firefox the first add-on that we're gonna get is adblock plus um, this is a very good uh, add-on at removing all those annoying ads and you can also customize it uh, depending on what page you're visiting if you need to turn it off turn it on pretty easy very fast to use so we're gonna restart Firefox here okay so Firefox has been restarted and we'll close up the window here and then here you get to pick which subscription you want to use for um, f for the ad block plus now I used to use fanboys list but I noticed that in some of my web pages that I used it blocked the top part of the page and in the top part there were ads but then there were also buttons that I needed to use so I went to easy list and I saw that it didn't have any of these problems so I pick easy list but you can pick whatever one you want I hit add subscription and that's it you can see that it's active right now right up here and then if you hit the down the little arrow you can enable it disable it change your preferences and anything like that uh, looks like I'm running out of time here so I'm gonna end this video right now and I'll start on the next one see you in the next video